from Appleton, Wisconsin. This is APTV. Welcome to APTV, episode 508 for Thursday, September 21st, 2023. This week we have banter, news, updates, majestic jade from Lamy, two new accents from Lamy, a price cut on Mayora Aventus pens, a contest winner, a new contest, plus a cool sailor dip pen and ink set that is coming soon. Hey, Lisa. Would you please tell me a joke? I have I a great joke. So I have much. a great joke. Okay, promises, promises. What? happens when five ants share an apartment with five other ants what they become 10 ants together <laughs> oh you made justin laugh that's good all right <laughs> go ahead do it so, that's good right that's good <laughs> here we have a uh, location bumper uh this um uh, fall foliage begins in Appleton. Actually, we saw a little bit of it this past mm -hmm. weekend. Uh, this Saturday, September 23rd, is the first day of fall in the Northern Hemisphere. Mm -hmm. And the leaves on the trees have received the message. And so we were out this past weekend uh, doing a little antique uh, run that was somewhat uh, was unsuccessful. was not a complete waste of time, but it was close. Um, um, we saw like one giant tree that was completely changed and it was gorgeous. And then we saw... It was done. It had <laughs> enough for the year. I've given it, it up. It gave up. Color changing, boom. Um, and then we saw several that had just a little patch. It was kind of fun. It was like a little freckle here and a little freckle there yeah, of color. So we were, we were actually east of the, east of the lake. Um, we'll talk about on, that in a minute. On, we will? Okay. Yeah. All right. Keep going. Uh, Tuesday, uh, today... Tuesday... Thursday. Thursday. Today, Thursday, September 21st, is International Peace Day. The UN General Assembly has declared this as a day devoted to strengthening the ideals of peace through observing 24 hours of nonviolence and ceasefire. This year's theme recognizes our individual and collective responsibility to foster peace. Very Amen. Nice. Amen. Tomorrow, Friday, September 22nd, is Hobbit Day. Cool. This day <laughs> celebrates the birthday of the Hobbits Bilbo and Frodo Baggins, two characters from J.R.R. Tolkien's The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. There's a joke in there somewhere, Hobbit Day. I like The Hobbit. I thought The Hobbit was great. You start watching The Lord of the Rings, and it's like it's you got to watch the extended versions. you got to watch all three, and it's before you know it. Well, one year for Christmas, on Christmas Day... We drove to Madison that's, with the yeah, kids that's true. Yeah. to watch. Um, Which one was it? One of the was Lord the of the Rings the had Hobbit? just been released, and I thought it was the Hobbit because they did it in this special format. Yeah, and Justin would know. Yeah, this special format that was only some frame rate that was. Did we have special glasses? Did they it was you? yes, and it was 3D, it and it was in a special frame rate. Yeah, it was weird. And Justin's laughing. He's like, yeah. you know, have no idea what the hell you're talking know. about. But, but one year but. for Christmas Day, we took the kids who were teens at the time, and we had a good time. I don't think we told them where we were going. No, we didn't. We just said we're going someplace. Get in the car. Shut get up. dressed. <laughs> don't argue. Do it. <laughs> don't fight. Um, and we all had a really good time. Yeah, so we went yeah, was and... There wasn't that many people there. Not that many. Well, it was Christmas Day. Well, it was Christmas Day, yeah. And, uh, but it was fun because we'd already done gifts and, and the kids were teens and, you know, it doesn't take very long. So, um, no, we had a good time. Yeah. And then we came back and had... I want, I want a pen in, in the car. Oh, my God. Uh, that was more dramatic than anything. <laughs> we all had to pull over. Yes. Because the auction was ending as we as were leaving. As we were driving and Brian driving. really, really, really wanted this pen. Um and in your classic, you know, bad eBay picture, we Brian knew what it was, and he it was, was like, hoping nobody else. It, it, there was not a single picture that showed the entire pen. Yeah. It was like off, and I knew what it was. I knew what it was, and it's and extremely so rare. I, Brian's driving. I kept refreshing, and and finally, you know, what's it at now? What's it at? And, and it hadn't really moved. And I'm like, do you just want to pull over? Do we just need to sit here? No, no, it's fine. But um, yeah. Yeah. So Good I have times. fond memories of The Hobbit. All right. So in news, <laughs> the sailor, don't miss the boat sail. Are we good? Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, the sale ends a week from Saturday, although I do believe that technically Sailor said we could yeah, extend it. Yeah, I think we can it. We roll it over uh, to the Monday because yeah. of the, the, the weekend. Which is nice so that we don't have to change everything. On so you got like an extra two days. Yeah. You got yeah. an extra two days. Take advantage of it. Now is the time to buy a pen um, that's on that discontinued list at a really good price. The last, what, three or four years Sailor has done this, yeah, but yeah. there's no guarantee they're going to continue. Yeah. So. Uh, so we got a couple, and, and I don't remember if we mentioned this last week or not, but there actually were, were two more pens that are actually on the list that we didn't know were on the list. Yeah. Uh, so uh, uh, these may be new to you, and I, I don't. Again, I don't remember if we talked about these last week. I don't think we did. Um, but these were part of the, the cocktail, the second cocktail series. Yes. That's the blue uh, train. This is the blue train. Yep. And the Argentina. the Argentina. I like this blue one. This is pretty nice, and I like the clear. It has a clear end. Yep. Uh, barrel finial, and the cap and the section are all the same. Really, really kind of a cool. Mine has sparkles. Cool. Yours, does yours sparkle? have sparkle. Sparkle. Mine does not have sparkles. Okay. No. Sparkle. But. Uh, so the blue train in the Argentina, uh, we actually added to the discontinued um, Don't Miss the Boat sale last week. We yeah. were uh, just double checking the list to see what we still had, what was still available to perhaps reorder. And uh, so that came around. I've what got, else? Uh, I've got a Too Hot Habanero. So if you like that little, that Love cute that little, one. the little chili pepper yeah. on the top. Um, but that's in with the, with the, the two -tone. bicolor nib on that. That's pretty nice. Love that. Um, and and we've, we've got a lot of different models. I just brought a couple out here. And of course, you've got the Trinity in the 1911. So we've got a lot of Pro Gears. We only have a couple of different models in the 1911, if you like that model. Um, but this one has uh, the ruthenium coated trim. That's cool. Uh, and also, I will say uh, uh, what has been popular, the most popular actually, has been the King of Pen in the Christmas Spice Tea. It's a kick ass price for that pack. Um, it's a good price. And uh, we are, I, I believe, I am getting two more in. There'll be two more. So if, you, so if, if you're, you're interested, interested in that pen, give us a call. Um, Send us an email. Yeah, it's. I, I'm hoping to have them by next week. So, uh, anyway, so that's uh, that. Oh, oh, oh yeah, and I do. We do have this one too. This is. I forgot about this one. Uh, this is the storm over the ocean. Uh, in available in the King of Pen. We also have it in, I believe, in a couple of the other sizes. But uh, really, really a nice, nice looking pen, and, I, and it's a nice, nice combination of purple to you know yeah. to two purples, and it's got the sparkly barrel. I love the sparkles. So it's very nice. Uh, other news. Um, this is all you. Okay, so we have a complicated love hate relationship with Waterman and Parker. Um, they're owned by a big giant company, and sometimes it's hard to get information from our distributor, who does a good job of supporting us, but. We order something, the distributor, if they don't have it, orders it, and it's only then that they find out what is and isn't current, discontinued, et cetera. The and flow of information is disjoint. Yes, from Waterman yes. down. It is not the fault of our distributor. Um, and so we have been reordering Waterman Absolute Brown Ink um, for the last several months, and it's just always on back order, back order, we don't get it. And a friend of ours had said that they heard that it was discontinued. So I looked on the Waterman website, it was still there, checked with our distributor a couple months ago and they had not heard anything but order it, they said, and we'll see what happens, which is how this process works. And so a couple weeks ago, I asked um, Dave, our store manager, to get an updated price list. Let's, uh, because, Again, we're you know we're trying to keep up with price changes, but not everybody tells you about these things. Um, and so we got an updated price list of what is current, and I had him ask about Waterman Absolute Brown, and the answer was that it has been discontinued. So we've been told. All right, it's gone. It's gone. We haven't had it in ages. Yeah. Um, so I did a YouTube video showing alternatives to Waterman Absolute Brown. Um, so you want to check that out. Uh, Visconti Sepia, uh, Kobe number 16, not a brown, which is really a great color. Um, Diamine Saddle Brown, Monteverdi Pumpkin Cake. I think I called it Pumpkin Spice Pumpkin on the card. Yes, yeah. So it's Pumpkin Cake. Sorry about that. Um, Private Reserve Copper Burst and Sailor US 50 States Ohio. There are other colors that are also similar. 
but those are just six. Those are just six that also had. Um, they were well behaved. They rinse out easily. Um, good alternatives. Some were very close. Some were a little darker or whatever. Um, but at least it'll it'll help get you in the right direction. What did the big flower say to the little flower? Hi, bud. Finally, finally, Lamy Scala. I just need to see limited this. edition majestic jade. Um, so, I'm gonna go with sparkly Tiffany blue it, color. It's, it's more sparkly than I thought it it's, was gonna be. It's very, very subtle. It's almost like a pearlescent sheen. It's not so much like glitter, um, like you see in in some of the like the sailor pens have more clearly defined little sparkle. This is really kind of a pearlescent. People are calling in now I know. to get the limited edition Majestic Jade. Um, really, really, really pretty color. It's nice. The scale is yeah. a nice, it's a, it's a little bit bigger pen. It's got a little bit more weight to it. Um, yeah. It has a 14 karat bicolor nib and it comes in fine. Yes. Uh, we may have other nib options available. If, if you're interested, uh, you'll have to send us an email, give us a call. Um, they only made 1,500. They are laser engraved, I believe, on the clip, the side of the clip. Oh, right there. Yep, on the side. Uh, comes with the, of course, comes with the converter, cartridge, uh, and a bottle of Lamy Amazonite. Pretty, pretty color in, in the, the crystal, crystal series. In the crystal yep. series, yeah. Yeah, so we have been excited to, uh, we've been excited to get finally get these in. Finally we've been waiting. In. Really, really, really pretty. So, supplies are limited. Um, but yeah, they are now available. Yes. Also just in from Lamy. Uh, this we've been waiting for since uh, the pen party. And there's actually kind of a funny story about this. Um, uh, Tony, our rep, and I were going back and forth before we actually moved into the store uh, looking at to acquire the cases that we have in the store. They require uh, an order, which is fine because we order all the time. And, uh, and so we were looking at well, since we're fairly well stocked, we don't need as much. Maybe we'll expand into a couple of lines. So that's right. where the, the leather came in, uh, the leather cases, which have done very well. Uh, and, and and Dave and I were looking one day, and we were looking at the, the accent. We said, you know, that's kind of a neat, neat pen. And I had a question uh, in the catalog. Uh, there was a, a mention about the grip. And so I had emailed Tony. And he must have been, he was on his phone and he was, you know, not in the office. And he responded back with, it has been discontinued. So Dave and I, as we would have, we dropped the whole idea. So when Tony right. comes to the pen party. Uh, he's looking at our cases, a, which literally one arrived like a week and a half before or two weeks before. And the other one arrived like the, the day, day before. The day before, yeah. Which was crazy. But he's looking at everything we have in there. And, and says, oh, well, how come you don't have... Yeah, the accent would look good in here. Like, well, he told me you they're said discontinued. It was... Any, so anyway, yeah. So they're not discontinued. Here they are. And we finally, um, and we ordered them right away. They finally came in. Uh, so we have two accents. Now, we've had the rollerball and the ballpoint. These are cool. This is kind of a neat pen. Uh, this is the Briarwood. So it's got this Briarwood section here. Uh, and these securely snap on the, the post on the end, but then they're threaded. They're threaded here. So it's just a tiny little thread at the top. Uh, so they come in the Briarwood, and then you have the brilliant lacquer brilliant diamond. Brilliant lacquer diamond. Which is pretty or cool. Shiny rings. Shiny rings, yeah. yeah. That's the unofficial name. Yeah. Um, but a nice, comes with a 14 karat uh, bicolor nib. Um, and it's slightly, very, very slightly. Bulbous. Bulges out here um, on the section. Just a tiny bit, which yeah, I... That's pretty, that's pretty cool. Yeah. That's neat looking. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so these finally came in really pretty neat. And then, then you can also, you can grab the, the clip, which I always like a little spring clip. Easy to put in your pocket. Um, Those came in and that's pretty cool. So that makes it easy to, to put it in your pocket. sometimes we've had things for a while and you you just kind of visually gloss over things because you see them all the time and so we took a walk around the store and we're like oh I'd forgotten how pretty these are so we this are going to talk about the Mayora Aventus fountain pens so, so these are made uh, these are Italian uh, and the owner is one of the 
<laughs> it's one of, the, one of the former Delta is associated with Delta. So um, these are gorgeous. Really nice materials. Uh, and and when you look at it, you go, well, yeah, well, that looks like a Delta. You know, it's yep. got the same kind of filigree on the cap band. It has the roller clip. Uh, and then this feature, which was, was kind of a, a, a cool it's Delta funky. thing where you can unscrew the blind cap. And that actually is the converter. The converter. So the converter's got this extension on it. So you can do it either way. Just take the blind cap off and then you can you can fill the pen from there or take the whole barrel off like you would on any other normal cartridge converter. But um, 10 color options. Yes. Uh, Yovo, uh, these are Yovo number six nibs. So you, you know what you're gonna get when you get those. So extra fine, fine, medium. There's actually some uh, flex options. Um, but this one is the, what is this one? This is the, Im that is the Impero. The Impero. I have the Amore red with ruthenium trim, which is really, really a cool option. This one, Fairly I, this, new. This one I can't pronounce, so I'm just going to call it yellow because there's there's no mistaking this one. Tenerife. I have no idea. I don't it's know. It's yellow. What the, um, the purple, which is deep purple. Deep purple, yeah. Uh, this is kind of a plummy purple. It's definitely not um, dark. So that's very pretty. Um, this is the matte black. That's the matte black. I that's think, think it's the La Pio. Yeah. So, Pio. so that looks uh, really good. Several really good. other colors too. Um, and we uh, have them marked down. They were 196. Now they're 156.80. So if you've been looking at it, now's the time. All right. Time for you to talk about Hobonichi. Hobonichi. Uh, I was on the phone this morning with a customer and um, kind of walking through. She's, I think, I don't know if this is maybe her first year with a Hobonichi. So she had a lot of questions. And so I just wanted to point out a couple covers we haven't talked about before. Does it have a cat on it? Is that a cat? It's a cat. That's a cat. Yeah. So okay. this is the cat Symphony bird. Yellow. Um, I just really love what they do every year. They're fun. They are practical, so here's the outside. It's a, a real pretty yellow with um, blue embroidery. There's also navy blue in the smaller A6 with gray embroidery. Um, nice interior. Contrasting interior color. Love the little bookmarks, um, but just really, really well done. So there's that. And that's that's the A5. That's that that'll this is fit the A5. that'll fit the cousin. Yes, this is the larger size. Um, this is the light green. Uh, berry. And so have unlike down. that, this one, this one's zipper and this one's this one, not. Yes. Yeah, so so yeah. this zips, this has um, the loops so the you can actually loop, yeah. put a pen in there and that's how you close it. But um, you, you can put this in there. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Put the king of pen in there? Fit in there. I'll make it fit. No. Yeah. Don't break either thing. <laughs> Thank you. Um, nice fabric. They do just such a nice job. I love this um, kind of sage green interior, real pretty. And then again, with the cute bookmarks, just really- Got little medallions on the little, end? Yep. Yeah, look at that. So oh, a little, that's leather actually. The little, little attention to detail is, is just really great. And then this one, I didn't take out of the cover, so Justin, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> this is Dreamy Soda that has been in the, um, the lineup That's been for a, lineup a couple, for a couple years. years now, yeah. Just it's a good combination soft, though. Really good combination. Pretty colors, yeah. really like it. Comes in both sizes. So there's my noise for the day. I'm writing a book about glue, but I'm stuck on the first chapter. We had a contest last week. We did. Have you ever been have you ever gifted given or Ben gifted a cross pen because last week we were talking, talking about, about the, the, new, cross, the cross classic century pens we got yep. in. Uh, and we have a few answers. Uh, Lisa Rodwan says, my 88 year old father is gifting things away now and I received his cross pen and pencil set, the classic skinny silver ones, that's yep. right. I'm sure he received it from his employer or the Masons a long time ago, glad to have it. Thanks for another pleasant pause in my Thursday. So yeah, yeah, that's uh, that would be the classic century. Hi Lisa. Um, 
Karina loved to plan, says my dad gifted me a cross botanica green daylily for Christmas 2007, and it was my first ever fountain pen. I still have it to this day. Nice, yeah. Very cool. Yeah, we are, we are ever hopeful that the botanicas will be back in stock before Christmas, but who knows? Who knows what Cross is doing? Uh, Clark Fralick says, thank you for another great show. I always look forward to watching every Thursday. I was gifted a gold cross pen and pencil set for my high school graduation and was given one as a sales award from Radio Shack. Wow. I wonder, does it have the Radio Shack logo on, That's cool. on the clip? That would be cool. Um, Penny C says, yes. Like you, Lisa, I received a gold set of pen and pencil for high school graduation. I used the pen all through university. Everyone should own at least one cross pen. Yeah, I found one, believe it or not. When I was a freshman at University of Stevens Point, I remember walking to um, out of the arts department, and there on the ground was a gold cross classic century ballpoint. Wow. I couldn't believe my eyes. Did it have my name on it? It did not have the name <laughs> on it. Johnny Montalvo says, not only do I own a cross ballpoint, but that's the pen that got me into pens in the first place. My mother is a great practical gift giver, and on my 10th birthday, Ooh. she got me a cross with my name engraved on it. Yep. That may, be something, that may sound like a weird gift for a 10-year-old, but kids are in school all day, so I ended up using it a lot and loving it. I eventually lost that cross ballpoint, but years later in my 20s, I got another one, and in doing so, I became curious about fountain pens as well. This essentially set me on a path of pen addiction. So It happens. Yeah. Uh, Heart of Lynn says, yep. Graduated high school in 1989 and received two cross pens as gifts. Both are engraved with my name, one in cursive, the other in block capitalized print. Still have them, although it's been a while since I've used them. Get a refill. Use them. There we go. Uh, how do you pronounce this? The Dormouses? The Dormouses? Dor Dormouses? Desk. desk. Sorry if I botched that. My grandfather received a cross pen from his employer, American Airline, that's come to me, still in the box. Also, when my husband and I got married, we purchased his and her cross pens, one black, cool. one white and black. That's interesting. So they bring back bring back nice memories. White and black cross. I'd like to see that. That must be it's unusual. like a stormtrooper. Stormtrooper. We'll call it the stormtrooper. There we have go. a winner. Dexter Yang. His comment mm. was another great episode. Looking forward to it every Thursday. My first cross set was a high school graduation present. <laughs> yes. Many, many of us received them as gifts. Congratulations, Dexter. Uh, write to Eric at AndersonPens.com. He'll take care of getting that $20 credit on your Anderson Pens account. We have a new contest, a new survey? We do. And so since it is mid-September and uh, officially fall is about to start, do you have a favorite fall ink color? I, I never never think to use fall colored inks in fall, but if we're going to do that, I think I know which one I'm going to use. Okay. What are you going to use? Kaweco orange. Okay. The orange that Kaweco has is really nice. It's like kind of like a burnt orange. Yes. I like it a lot. Um, Groff von Faber-Castell makes uh, a pretty orange. There, there are lots of... Burnt orange. Yeah, they do. Burned <laughs> orange. Burned orange. Um, lots of companies make a cool orange or um, a warm brown or a dark burgundy or something. So if you switch up your inks for the seasons, um, let us know what your favorite fall ink color is. You could put an orange in this pen. And that would be well, a heck of a... I have one fall. ink that I use year round that works for every season. Aurora Black. Sailor Kin Mokuse. Oh. Because it's orange, it's pretty, <laughs> it's happy, it, it works All in right. fall, it works in spring, it's definitely a summer color, winter, it's happy. It's my color. Awesome. Well, let us know. Uh, one commenter will be chosen at random to uh, win a $20 credit on his or her Anderson Pence account. Sailor is coming out with a dip pen ink that has shimmer. That is dip pen only. Only, only. only dip pens. Don't, do not put, put this in your, in your fountain, fountain pen. pen. Don't do it. Um, they're calling it the Dipton. Um, it's um, bottled ink and... There are three colors to start with. One is a corally uh, color. One is a really pretty lighter blue. And um, one is uh, a green. So coral humming, ice dance, and mellow forest. Uh, so you can buy, that to you, a, we will have both the standard 20 mil bottle of the ink separately. 
And then for a limited time, there will be a 10 mil mini bottle and a dip pen, a Hokoro dip pen nib, uh, dip pen will be available with a food a nib, a which food is a cool. Nib now the, pen, the pens are only available in the sets. For now. For now, they will be, uh, I was told just this morning, they will become available separately, but maybe not until next year. Is, is was kind of the word, but yes. you want to get an inexpensive food aid since basically the regular food aid is unobtainium. Uh, you can get one in the set, and they're very uh, they're very affordable. Yes, yeah. Um, so these look cool. Um, these are are pretty colors. Uh, the bottle is interesting, and uh, so sailors getting into shimmer ink. We're getting into shimmer ink. It's dip pen only. All right. Yes, yes. Very good. So that's coming soon. Do you have any, anything else? We, you know, we never talked about this. I was going to oh, talk about this, and so, you said, well, let's wait till yeah, later. Yeah, and then we got busy. Um, Brian and I, <laughs> very busy, Brian and I took a drive this weekend, um, needed a break from working on household stuff, and uh, we decided to go to um, a town that, that used to be good for antiquing, and um, we hadn't been since before COVID. Lots of years, many yeah. years, probably and, been five or six years probably. But it was a beautiful day on Sunday for a drive. So we took the Corvette, we drove. Um, only one place, I guess there were two places left and only one was open. Out we went of to like, like th four places. There were four places that were open, but they weren't all listed as antique stores, right. that, but they were, yeah. which was weird. Um, it, just nothing. Nothing. Nothing there, literally. I, I, I almost didn't buy this just because I, I bought it partly because I thought, well, we drove we, all this. We way. drove all this way. Um, we got this cute little uh, mechanical pencil. I at first top. thought it was a Parker dual fold, but it's no, not. It's no. unbranded. It's unbranded, but it's a cool color combination. But it's I. It's got that that cream, but with blue vein, yeah. which is kind of unusual. Really cool, and um, it seems to work. Yeah, I got to put a little piece of lead in it, but yep. it does it does seem to work. So we will have um, that up on the website. It's kind of cute. Soon enough, but um, that's that was the, <laughs> all that we came home that with. That was the haul for the yeah. weekend, but then uh, um, then there was there's an apple orchard that we like, and I just had a craving for an apple orchard, so we went to um, Heritage, I Heritage, think it's called. Yep. Um, and uh, we got a bag of apples. We each got a cookie, and um, upstairs at this place they have um, little quilted and handmade kind of things like that craft, they sell. Kind of crafty, yeah, sort yeah. of like a little craft bazaar, but some quilts and some. Some, some of it's just bazaar. Yeah, uh, one year we got um, was it hedgehog pot holders yeah, I think or so. something? I remember, yeah. um, we got some wool dryer balls a couple times, uh, once Different or twice. Stuff, yeah. yeah, just all sorts of fun stuff, but. Um, just kind of wandered around there and uh, just had a, a really beautiful day. But it was a great day for a drive in the country. And that's when we saw the leaves changing. And, all foliage, yep. Yeah. So. so there it is. Um, anything Th else? That, that's all. I, I don't have anything else. That's it. Thanks so. for joining us. Tune in next week for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. Check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. And please like this video and subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Bye.